say to go back up. Okay, I'm back on then. Let me know how you hear me now. Ian, you see me? I'm, I'm not on yet. Oh. Okay, Jolene, hi. You hear me good? Are you hearing a lot of noise in the background? Okay, I guess we could continue. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Motivational Monday where each one teach one. Uh, thank you again for... Um, guys, I'm live. Hi guys, um, yeah, if you hear a little noise in the back, um, I'm on location, I'm in Florida tonight. So, okay, good, good, yeah. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so tonight's topic, excuse me, Carlton, I'm on live, please. Thank you. Okay, guys. Father, thank you for sending Jesus, who was the greatest example of a man who walked in spirit and truth and who waited upon you. He was a man with a service, servant heart and a desire to do your will. I do not want to go anywhere without you. Help us to make the right choice. Help us to move, remove all the doubts and unclean thoughts that is inside our minds, our hearts, and our soul. Let your power be revealed in us and through you. Create in us a clean and pure heart. Help us to cultivate spiritual discipline so that I will be able to receive you and tell you, Help me to be guided in all things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, thank you. Okay, good night, good night, Nicole, Bethian, Jolene, Dane. Thank you, guys. Okay, so tonight's topic, we're going to talk about domestic violence. And I do have a gentleman. Um, his name is Quan. I'm going to bring him on shortly. And we'll be dis discussing not only women is being abused. We have men also, right? So we're going to bring Quan up in a little bit. So I want to shout out if you have a birthday, happy, happy birthday. May God bless you guys to see many, many more. Hi, Terian. Um, so our word of this week is transverse, consisting of land and water as the earth. Okay, so that's our daily word for this week. All right, so... I want to give you guys just a little health tip. Remember, I'm not a doctor, guys. I'm reading from Google, so please. All right? We're going to give you 12 health tips. Um, eat a healthy diet. And when we're talking about healthy diet, hi, Grace. Yes. Yes, Tigress. Thank you for locking in. Yep. Um, your birthday. I think your birthday coming up soon, right? I think I saw that. Anyhow, be physically active. Um, so guys, you know, you still have to do your walking. Not much, even if you walk 10 minutes, five minutes, every day just add on something to keep the little bones going, okay? Um, don't use any form of tobacco. It's not good for you. Avoid and minimize the use of alcohol. You can drink, but drink or you know in accordance you don't have to be drink to get drunk all right um manage stress i know a lot of us are stressed out so good night so you know just just manage your stress um practice good hygiene guys all right and don't drink and drive drinking and driving you know that causes us to be in a lot of problems so please encourage your friends not to drink and drive all right i hope you guys are having a great week like me i am in florida i attended uh, miami carnival this weekend and um, we did have a great great time uh, all so far was safe thank god for that um you know we did it without any you know instances or damages or anything like that i think everyone had a um a real good time all right so tonight i am going to talk a bit um about domestic violence and as i said again domestic violence not only um goes with women 
We also have men who is being abused. And you know, I, I wanted to take it from a man point of view. Yes, go on, I can hear you, hold one second. And I wanted to take it from a man point of view. So I'm gonna bring my special guest on tonight is Quan. Quan, welcome to Motivational Monday. Okay guys, so again, I'm on location. Okay, yeah, it's so good. All right, are uh, you hearing what, noise? What are you hearing? You hear me? Quan? Quan? Quan, you hear me? Quan, you hear me? Okay, guys. You know we live, so sometimes we have technical difficulties. I'm going to try Quan again. Brooklyn in the house. Hi, Sherian. Nice to you. Yes, it's better. Quan, you hear me? You hear me loud and clear? Okay, good. I'm not... Okay, you ready? Ready? Okay. Okay, guys. So, this is Quan. I have Quan. And he's our special guest tonight. And um, Quan... You know, this is Domestic Violence Month, and you also know we are celebrating um, Breast Cancer Month also. So, I, um, you can introduce yourself. Hi, hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Quan, um, a friend of Phyllis. She's not from, um, from Philly. I'm Philly. I'll be on the show every, every Monday. Um, I came in here to support and tell my story, you know. Can you raise your voice a little bit? Can you raise your voice a little bit? Can you hear me? Yes, better. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, like I said, my name is Quan. Um, Something wrong with the screen, Quan. I'm not seeing you, Quan. Video pause, it's in the video pause. Yes, guys, well, you know, when we live, anything happens when we live, right? As again, I'm not in my. Yes, I'm seeing you. Okay. Please. Uh, yes, Juan. So. Uh, so yeah so our topic tonight is about domestic violence and i know being a man could you tell us your story on um what you went through and what advice you could give men out there who uh, um has experienced domestic violence because i know domestic violence people only think it's women and it's not only women so go ahead Um, this was about, let's say, 2004. So, 2004, I had a girlfriend. Um, I say her name was Sharoya. Quan, talk a little harder. Can you hear me now? Right, yeah, good. Yeah, good, good. So, about 2004, um, I was dating this girl that I was dating. Um, so, um, you know, she was my girlfriend, we were together and stuff like that. We was always together and things like that. We spent a lot of time together, you know. Um, I was in the military, so I kind of came, you know, when I came back from my second part of my training, you know, um, they, they're working a lot. So, you know, she helped me with the job, we were working together, you know. That was a bad idea because, like, you know, I came back and everything was different. You know, we, you know, we, we, we didn't get along. She accused me of a lot of things. Um, and, uh, she, put, she, she put hands on me, you know, she swung at me. She, she did things that, you know, I never thought that I would take because I've, I've never took so much of me. Right. So it's time, you know, even spit in my face, you know what I'm saying? And, you 
you know, she used to do, like really put hands on me. She used to like uh, so she clothes. she so Quan so yeah. she used to put her hands on you. You saying? Yeah, she used to put her. So she was physically abusive. She was physically yeah, abusive. Yeah, it was so right. So because you know everybody thinks that you know abuse is just physical. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's did you call physical. the cops on her, or how did it went? So, um, I didn't call the cops on me, was this, so this started in about, let's say, 2004, of like, May? Yeah. Beginning of June? Yeah. So, you know, I I was depressed the whole summer. You know, I wasn't, I'm used to going out, I'm used to enjoying myself, having fun, and it was just like, we were together, and it was just like, depressing, you know, the last girl was like, kind of like, you know, she have some of my chains and ripped it off and I just was like you know I'm done and you know I'm just gonna just enjoy myself and go out and just spend time with my friends and try to get my life you know just right. try to get away from all of that abuse right you know so let me so, ask you Juan you know, so what are, what are the signs that um you're supposed to look for in your in the case of domestic violence because I mean how did it start it it started with being jealous it started how did it start it because with domestic violence normally it starts with jealousy sometimes the other pa partner tends to be jealous they tend to be insecure of their their way right, right? right. so that is right. how it started she, she with was, you right like, so yeah well like i said we, we spent a lot of time together so you know it was a lot of jealousy like a little thing like little things was jealous of her like I remember a time we was downtown Brooklyn in the store and a girl came up to me and said, you know, I like the way your shirt looks. You know, right. she, she asked me where I got it from and I told her and she got upset. You know, she was jealous, you know, she was jealous, she was, she was crazy with my eyes. So, you know, to make a long story short, you know, she went kind of stabbed me. Right. And, you know. So she like, ended up stabbing you? Right, two inches mm -hmm. from my heart. What? Really? Wow, wow. I mean, that that was extreme. That was extreme. You know? Yeah. Let me see if I can walk outside for one. Hold one second. Hold on, just now. Eh? I'm not home. I'm in a different location. And there's a lot of chatter. And I need to get, get this story. So give me one moment. Yes, it is. Oh, I don't see this rose. Did you see rose? In the back. Oh, in the back. Yes. All right. So sorry about that. Yeah, um, Juan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I can hear you clearly. So you're saying that um, it drove you to domestic violence in the sense that she ended up stabbing you from that that from that. So I was at I was at a party and she told me not to. She was like, you know, she kept calling me. We were working together. She kept calling me, calling me. And I wasn't answering. Right. And then when I finally answered, when I left the party, she said, you know, she kind of threatened me. You know, my friends was like, you know, she, the last thing I can remember my friend saying was like, yo, she's going to be the death of you. You know, he didn't say it to really in literal, but he said it. And, you know, I went down the block. She came to my house. And I, I, you know, she walked up my, she walked up the stairs. I said, you know, come here just to, you know, to try to talk to her. Right. And she, she, she swung at me. And I'm, and I'm thinking, like, you know, she's swinging at me with her hand. Right. It wasn't her hand she was swinging at me with. She actually stabbed me, and I didn't know, and I still didn't know. Wow. Wow. So, it, yeah, until I see, like, until I see, like, blood dripping through on my sneakers. Wow. And. You know, I, it, it, it was such a adrenaline rush feeling, and I was like, you know, I just passed out, and next thing you know, I was in Kings County, and it from my heart. They, they couldn't even find the, they couldn't even find the place. Right. Hmm. So they had to do like the surgery and everything, so yeah, that's what happened with that. Right. So what advice you can give someone out here? Man, especially because, um, you know, again, as I when I started the show, I said that domestic violence people think it's only women that goes through domestic violence, 
but what advice you think for the red flags that men could look out for where domestic violence is concerned? I, I feel like this, you know, in relationships, you know, it's all, you know, jealousy is, is a big thing. Right. But I, I see that you're, you're getting to the point of you're doing things like you're, 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 you're throwing chloros on clothes and you're sitting there, you're, you're spitting on people and wow. things like that. You're not, you know, searching through phones and things like that. That's not a good recipe. That's something that you got to look out for, like. No, I see the sign. I just, you know, I just. So you, you, you like see. Said, so you see the red flags. You see the red flags. Right. right. And and. And, uh, Wait, hold oh, one second, Juan. Hold one second. Um, Terry is saying, glad you made it out safe and alive because you know with um. Okay. All right. No problem. Sorry about that, Juan. Um, again, as I say, I'm on location, so I'm not in my own home where we have peace and quiet, you know? It's, I was looking for a quiet spot. It's just talking <laughs> in every corner. Yo, listen, you doing, yo, listen, it's in Miami Carnival still going, I understand, I understand. Um, yeah, but you don't know, but I'm just trying to get a quiet space for us so that, um, we can talk. So I think this is quiet now. Yeah, so, um... Terian is saying domestic violence is real and we know that domestic violence is real. You understand? We we know the 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 ramifications because again um we do have where the abusers right think that hey they can do you stuff because of um you know you don't have anybody and things like that. So you know, bringing the awareness out, I think, is what people really need to hear and know. You understand? Um, oh, really? oh, gosh. I've been you know, in... and, and I, I say it like this for all men. And, and I, you know, I don't want to give the advice. My advice is, is like this when it comes to men. Because I feel like, you know, anytime a woman and a man get into an argument or a thing, first thing it is, is the man they never know that it could be the woman doing a lot of things. Nobody besides my friends or my close family members really know about that. And you know, me being stabbed and being in domestic violence really changed my life because um, I'm not a perfect man and I have, you know, done some things to women that I'm not, you know, not proud of. And, you know, I... Right. So, um, Terry, um... Hold on, Quan. Quan, Terian is saying she has been in that boat before and it's hard to express and talk about it. Um, she say, I've been in that boat before and it's hard to express about it. Um, Joanna say, yes, it's true. Uh, she say, she's saying, thanks for sharing. It's a big step in healing. Yeah. And I want to say, you know, a lot of men doesn't really like to talk about um, things like this. So I was honored to have you tonight. You know, coming to talk to us and telling us, you know. So you saying one, the red flag is um, jealous people, jealousy in a relationship. Yes, jealous um, people, jealous people looking through phones, um, just just things out of the ordinary that people don't do normally. Right. Normally things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, just normal things. And like I said, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. Is, um, at the end of the day, if I can go back in the time, there's a lot of things to do because it was always taught that you know how it was with women. Like if, if a woman called the police, it's like you know a man get arrested. A man can't call the police. A man can't call the police on a woman. A man can't do this. A man can't right. Do that. It's right. like oh, a woman is doing that. Like how you, they, they used to laugh at you. Yes. So it's like why am I calling about a woman? But listen, if I go back in the time. No offense, and I, excuse me for our letters, I'd be that ass. Right. I'd be that ass. Because at the end of the day, you took my, you was trying to take my life. You almost took my life away from my kid. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. Not, and first of the worst is that I was faithful. Hmm. Once I was messing with women or anything. You know what I'm saying? You could have left me or anything. But for the fact that you spent for no reason because you're jealous. Or you mad or you 
something wrong with you or you feel like you know what I'm saying? That's something that is is, is crazy. Yes. And it, and I, like I said, until the day, let's not me too right now and it's still affecting, affecting me how I deal with women. Because if I tell somebody, yo, I got stabbed by a woman, they shot the head of They like, what? You didn't get stabbed by a guy or what did you do? What you mean what did I do? Like right. the only people that don't say that's people who know my story. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't So Joanne is saying here, yeah, hope, hope he feels better and able to have a healthy relationship now. Now, Juan, I know too that, you know, with domestic violence, it's a very serious, serious, it, it's serious for men and women. You understand? And I know for one, my mother always taught me, hey, if, if a man don't play no hit game with men, right? Because sometimes the hitting game ends up into be fighting fist to fist game you understand so i don't play that role with hit game i don't play fight i don't do nothing like that because i know that could lead to other things because that is how it starts you understand that is how it starts but i mean um this this first step in healing right Juan, is guys come in don't push it i'm on a live um, this is the first step to healing because again as I say domestic violence is is real and you know for you to talk about it that shows that you're taking a step and letting men out there know too that they could come I forward mean, right. I've been like that for years you know I've been talking about it for years you know and like I said it's been 18 years and I, it, it never still not crossed my mind because like I said it, it, it's, it, it messed a lot of things, you know, because it made me not trust women. It made me hard when I'm in relationships. It makes me not want to trust any woman because it's like, I don't care how good you is, it's a chance that you can take me out. And, I, and I'm real paranoid. Like, I don't even like being in the kitchen when a woman is cooking or chopping up anything because I, I, I start to get flashbacks because I'm like, yo, I'm not going to have it. I'm not going Like even me dealing with that with my mother. My mother was a, I seen my mother be hit by people even in my family. Really? You know, you know, you know, um, so that um so let me ask you, Quan. Quan does yes. does that did you ever take counseling for for that? For being traumatized? Um, I'm in therapy now. Okay. But, um, I'm in therapy now, but my therapy <laughs> I got so much other things I haven't gotten to that part of part of therapy. Because I'm in therapy, so many things I'm in therapy for. It's not just, you know, me being stabbed, my mother dying, you know, things like that. It's, you yeah. know, I have a whole bunch of other things. But I am in therapy. I am eventually going to get to that point where I'm in therapy. You know, I talk about my stabbing because, like I said, my stabbing is a big part of my life because it has it been a positive and a negative part of my life. Right. So, so I know it happened 18 years ago. What advice you can give someone out there who is struggling right now, who may be in the same boat as you, or maybe even worse? Because I know that there are women who, you know, are violent to men, and you know, sometimes the shame they don't want to call the cops. Sometimes it's financial sometimes they may not have a home to go to you understand so you know it may be a, a different set of reasons what advice you have out there for the person who's going through this right now um my advice to anybody who's going through this walk away you know um, it's not worth it um even you know some i had a situation i had a date in case like I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have no problem with saying my truth and telling my truth. So I had a DV case last year with my, my child's mother, and we got, it wasn't we didn't get into a fight or nothing like that, but she swung at me, and the cops wound up arresting me. Wow! So because the, because there's a lady downstairs who didn't mind her business and told them, you know, if 
something about me. And six cops came to the door. Right. And, and you know, I think it's a double standard. I think it's a double standard. Just like when we talk about when y'all talked about, I think it's a double standard when it comes to domestic violence too. Because yeah. if I'm arguing with my woman and stuff like that, you don't know if she swung at me first or she did anything like that. It can't be just because a man, a man is going to be a man. So if I have a voice, just because you pray at a man doesn't mean that the man is doing something to the woman. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And I wind up spending the night, I wind up spending the night in jail because of this. Right. And she didn't go to jail. I went to jail. She right. swung at me, but I went to jail. But you know, Quan, I, I noticed, no. here how I notice the law is who calls first. It depends on either the man or the woman, and then that's who they go with. Yeah, I get it, but she didn't call. And she didn't press charges, and they still, they still, they, I still want to spend another night in jail. And it's, like I said, I, I, you know, society shouldn't be that way, but it is. But like, like I said, I would give advice to anybody, just want to be away. Uh, so walk you know, away. Man, when you, you continue, I think you're right. Walk away. If you continuously go do that, it's gonna get a point where you might not. You just lose it, and it's not good. And you know, I kill somebody, and it's just not. That's not a. But you don't want that on your conscience, especially when you got children, family, and a good job and anything out here. It's not worth it. No man or woman is worth it. Put your hands on right. I tell my daughter all the time. Not put your hands on right. Because um Terriana is saying here, no, that's not true. That is not how the, the cops um she say how the police feel. It's how the police feel or witness when it's domestic violence. I guess she's talking about her case when um with domestic violence is concerned. But um I know um a lot of pe people I know very near and dear to me who has been <laughs> Uh, or is going through um, domestic violence and they don't want to talk. They're thinking that, you know, people watch them sideways. Um, some people, you know, may um, look down at them, frown on them. Um, but in my case, I would say domestic violence, you have to walk away. The, the, the people who don't walk away end up six feet. And the, the accusers end up in jail. It don't worth it. It, it don't worth it being in an abusive, disrespectful relationship. But I think one that 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 goes um, back to setting boundaries in your relationship. Good night, Melvin. Night, Bruiser. You know, um, because I think a lot of people tends to just stay there stagnant. And then what I find too with domestic violence, you're, you're getting these stuff with these men and then they go back. Same thing with a woman. And then it, it end up in fatality. What do you think about that? Right. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. You know, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of women, and, you know, women and men too that are just, you know, they go through this abuse, they go through this abuse, they go through this abuse. And like I said, you know, it's not just domestic, it's verbal abuse, it's yes. mental abuse. Yes. It's a, you know, physiological abuse, like it's, it's, it's all abuse over, but you know, men and women, they tend to do that. So you know, they, go, they go back, they feel like the man apologized or the woman. Correct. Apologized. You know, it took, right. it took the stab for me. I didn't go back at you. Right. Like, so, Nan so Kwan, Nancy is saying in Florida, they take all down because of what may happen after, um, you know, the, the leafy, it is um, a liability issue. So she's saying in Florida, you know, the rules may be different when the cops are being called in cases of domestic violence, just like New York will be different or anywhere in the States might have a different law. But I, I really want to um, bring awareness that it's not only women is being abused. You could have lost your life 18 years ago with that stab that this girl stabbed you. All because of being jealous. All because of being insecure. All because of just not knowing herself. You understand? And, and that is the, the message we're trying to get out there tonight. There are red flags 
that we have to look at when we go into relationship with other people because some people are looking for a mother figure or a father figure when they go into relationship and if you cannot supply that to them they tend to get um angry they tend to feel you know insecure insecure is the best word i could say right so reaching out to those women who check your phone who mad because somebody gave you a good compliment about how nice you look you have a nice sneakers your shirt is nice you have a nice haircut some women don't want even a man or a woman to compliment them you understand Is, uh, I totally agree. So it's like you know, a lot of like I said, they want they want that love, they want this, they want that. But like, it's not always good for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you see things, you need to just remove yourself. Yeah. It's, that's not. It's not. It's not healthy. Well, especially when you got children. Yes. Especially when you got children. You yes. Know, you don't want to be in front of your children with marks on you, and your your son or your daughter asking you, "Mommy, what's going?" Yes. Face, daddy, like that. Yes. It's not good. It's not healthy. No. You know, I didn't. I didn't want my son. I didn't want my son to, you know, be in nothing like that to see me in a hospital with tubes inside. Right. So it's just from my heart, not knowing if I'm gonna live or not. Right. Of a woman who's jealous for no reason. Right. For no reason. And you know, it, it took that for me. Just be like, you know what? Like, I don't need, I don't, I don't, I'm better than this. You gotta think of, you gotta be, you gotta think of yourself. Like, you know what? I'm better than this. I don't deserve this. Right. If you don't deserve it, you gotta just walk away. That's the best thing you can do is just walk away. Right. Because you, you know, I know they say sometimes you walk away, they have crazy men, crazy women that could tell you this and that, but you gotta walk away. Do whatever you have to do to stay away from that person and walk away from that person because that's not helping. That's not that's not healthy. It's, nobody I didn't get in a relationship with no woman to have no woman beat me and swing at me, spit in my face, put mm -hmm. knives out on me. I'm not I'm not I'm not a punch woman. Right. And it wouldn't see the crazy part and I didn't like the thing is that if I would have hit her You would have been the, you would have been the one in the wrong. You would have been right. the one in the wrong. I would have retaliated. Right. Yeah. I would have retaliated, it wouldn't have been, oh, you're not supposed to retaliate, oh, she's a woman, you're supposed to just let her hit you. No, I don't know where the hell you did. My mom didn't raise me like that. Right. So wait, Pearl, cousin Pearl. Because my mother, my mother, my mother was like, bro, my mother used to get beat on. I just seen my mother get hit by my grandfather, boyfriend she was with, my brother's father. Like, I don't <laughs> see my mother get so you you grew up in so Quan 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 so you you grew up in an abusive home, seeing these things. Correct. Right. So cousin Paul is saying it can go both ways. Lots of young women are on other side. They are the abusers too. Good night, Jason. Nancy is saying both men and women. If you are going to step out. It's not a day or night issue. We have to begin to know and read our, so you may be right, but pick up the battles to difficulties and issues. No, you don't always have to agree. You agree to disagree, especially when you're in a relationship. You understand? Um, Bruce is saying, some just love to, some, um, some, Bruza is saying some just love to abuse because of financial aid and service and easy money. Can I talk about it? You understand? So I like I like how you say again, you know, um, you know, being in that position and different things like that. You know, at least you're giving people a, 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 a way that you know they don't have to stay and take that kind of abuse. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, abuse is abuse, you know. Abuse is abuse, you know. And some people, um, you know, Paul is saying a lot has to be blamed 
on the environment the person grew up around. And Kwan is saying he, he did grow up around his mom being abused by other people. And, never, and, never, and, and he's never, not the I've abuser, never, but he was I've abused. Never hit a woman in my life. I've never hit a woman in my life. And I've never hit a woman in my life. I don't believe in being on I'd rather just leave. Right. If I gotta if I gotta if I have in my mind that I'm gonna put hands on you, I don't need to be with you. Exactly. Like said, it's a double standard because there are men, there are men that get put hands on you. Like I said, I, I, I didn't wake up, you know what I'm saying? I didn't wake up for somebody to be like, oh, they're going to put their hands on me for me to be stabbed or anything like that. I'm just telling my truth. It's not, I have the marks to prove it. It's not like I'm sitting here. Right. I mean, um, again, Juan. You are a voice for the voiceless men. Yeah, you hear me? Who, yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. You hearing me? I'm hearing you, Kwan. Yeah? No, I'm trying to hear you, Mama. No, I'm hearing you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm hearing yeah, you. I'm saying that, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect none of this and stuff like that. I'm just saying this is double standard. But the, and then I'm saying too, you you can uh, a voice to the voiceless, especially for men who don't have a voice for the guys that don't want to talk and say they're being abused. You understand? Because it it have women out there, especially men who doesn't want to pick up. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Leslie and saying definitely upbringing has a lot to do with what a person sees while growing up and how they choose to deliver it. That's correct. But in Quan point of view, he saw his mom being abused, but he wasn't the abuser. It's the opposite sex. The woman who was the abuser, and she's the one who stabbed him where he could have nearly died, was in the hospital, was on tubes and different things, didn't call the cops um, on her, because at the time, they were living together, you know? So, you know, we look at, at sometimes these abusers, they just pour on the weaker link, I would say. You understand? But for someone out there, I would say, who is going through any domestic violence right now relationship, as Quan say, get out of it. That's the most he can say. But, I mean, I know circumstances have other people living and taking this kind of abuse, but from a man point of view, he's telling you to leave, right, Juan? Juan, you hear me? Juan, you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. No, it's going in and out. It's static. Yeah. Um, Quan, yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Um, no, yeah, yeah. Nancy is saying, Quan, change the legacy, change the legacy, you know. Because, again, as I say, right. men don't talk about these things, and you know, it was so good that you could come on tonight and give my viewers a look that. And let them know that domestic violence only doesn't go for women only. So what ad, what is one advice you want to give your, uh, my viewers tonight, Juan? I can't hear you. Say it again. I say, what is one advice that you want to give my viewers out here right now? Right now, for the man that is watching, that is being abused right now, what do you want to say to him? Guys, you know we live and with life. Like yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Quan. Like I said, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not too much advice. It's not too. Like I said, it's not too much advice that you can give the man. 
but like I told you, like you said, so for the woman, oh, give oh, those women out there who like to who like to touch our boy children, talk to them. Say it one more time. I say for the woman out there who want to put their hands on people, children, give them some advice. Yes, yes. Right. I, 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 I think that's a big thing because like I told I tell my daughter, I tell my daughter all the time, I'm not one of those bodies that's going to be like, like if a woman tell me that a man a, a boy hit her, right. I'm sit there and, 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 and yell at me and you know, go beat the boy in her eyes because I'm like, right. I'm Exactly. Don't put your hands on no man. Period. Exactly. Don't put your hands on nobody anyway. I'm just being deserving. Exactly. Don't put your hands on nobody. Yeah. So, 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 Paul is saying, Juan, so Paul is saying so true, Cousin Bruza, and I am so with Juan that true because of what he has seen in his home as a child, he did not want his kids to remember him as an abuser. So, you know, you stand up for your rights. You stand up for, for your rights and you get out of that relationship, which is... Just keep your hands to yourself, right? Yeah, just it's keep like, your hands. It's like most of the time, right? And it's like most of the time, it just be like, it's never nothing crazy when it comes to domestic violence. It's never, it's never, a woman don't never put their hands on a man for like no reason. Like it be something crazy. Sometimes it's not, it don't even be nothing like easy. Right. It's just because they angry and they upset and I get it. But right. you gotta learn how to get your emotions. Everything's all about emotions. Your emotions, your emotions. You gotta keep your emotions intact. Right. You gotta think about your children. You right. gotta think about your child. You gotta think. Right. Again, we live. Um, I'm in Florida, so the connection keeps going in and out. But um, we gotta bring Quan back on, guys. We gotta bring Quan back on, especially you know, um, the internet keeps reconnecting. Quan, the internet keeps reconnecting. All right, so um. Okay, guys, so we're going to try to bring Quan back on um, because the internet keeps reconnecting. Um, I don't know what's going on, but that was Quan and um, his struggles with um, domestic violence. And again, as I say, domestic violence is not necessarily only the woman. Men, too, go through these things. You understand? And you could have heard it from Quan point of view tonight of all the stuff that he went through all the red flags that he you know he um he went through and you know this is this is to tell each and every one you know you gotta be strong you know um Pearl is saying ignorance versus education men need to speak up to call the police if you have to stop playing big boys and Joanne is saying, yes, you have to. 
serious topic that needs no interruption. You're right. So I am going to bring Kwan back on next week, seeing that we are in the month of um, domestic violence. And I'm going to let Kwan come to my house. And we're going to do this interview, have a part two. Because as I say again, I'm on location. The noise is just, I leave inside, I come out outside. It just ain't working for me tonight, you know? But I hope somebody gets something with this life about domestic violence. I had a young lady too, who I had to bring on. I said I was going to do Quan's first, seeing that he's a male. And um, Quan is trying to call me back. But I, um, sorry about that. Sorry about the interference, guys. But um, yes, yeah, so we are going to do a part two with Quan because and i'm gonna have a sit down with him and we're gonna go over what he really went through because i don't think a lot of people get what he really went through he, he was in a relationship and he got abused from his abuser he was stabbed was in the hospital was on tubes and i'm just saying here again domestic violence is not only for women men go through it too just some people don't talk about it, but it was very courageous of him to come on tonight and give us a little um, a little sneak peek of what it is to come. And Bruza is saying, when two people cannot any longer agree, one should leave. It's not your child. Why, why the violence? Correct. All right? So I want to say... Um, Thank you for logging in, guys. Again, I'm on location. I'm in Florida. Um, it's It has been Miami weekend, carnival season. And I'm here. Um, Anthony's having a get-together, so it have people in and out. And I was trying to get a quiet place, but I, I, I can't get a quiet spot. You know? But I just delivered what I had to with whatever I had, <laughs> had to use with, right? So I want to say have a blessed and wonderful and safe week. Um, remember, COVID is real out there. Um, remember what program is each one teach one. Like and subscribe the page. Um, you can look at YouTube. I'll try to upload it tomorrow. But we're going to have a part two and bring Kwan back on. All right? All right, guys. So love anyhow. See you guys. Have a blessed week and love anyhow.